All right, so in this video, we are selling a call option. So this is, uh, again, another chapter 10 question. <clears throat> you, so the, uh, the example question is, you have written a call option on Walmart stock. The option has an exercise price of $74, um, has uh, currently trading at 72, and the option premium is $1.25. So again, we are shorting we are selling or shorting, they are at, uh, short and sell are interchangeable with this. So we're shorting a call option. So we're shorting a call option on Walmart common stock. The exercise price is uh, $74. The current stock price, it's currently selling at $72. It's currently selling at uh, $72. And the option premium, I'll say uh, P for premium, is $1.25. So let's say uh, for part A, we want to know intrinsic value and time value. So how much of the option premium is due to intrinsic value versus time value? So remember for a call option. So for a call option, intrinsic value, intrinsic value could be written with a max function of stock price minus exercise price comma zero. So it's always going to be non-negative. Intrinsic value is a non-negative number. So this would be equal to the max of, uh, what was it, 72? 72 minus 74, which is negative two. So the intrinsic value is zero. Then the time value is the option premium minus intrinsic value. So this would be $1.25 minus zero. So, in, so the time value of the option is $1.25 equal to the, um, to the premium. So let's say for uh, part B, we're gonna calculate the net profit if the stock price decreases to $70 and stays there until expiration. So at the time of expiration, the stock price is $70. So this would mean that the, uh, the other party that you sold this to did not exercise. So your profit, your profit would be, so you sold, you sold the call option, so you made the premium, and it was an exercise. So your profit is $1.25 per share. Now let's do it again. Uh, this time, the time of expiration, it increases to $80. If it increases to $80, then the profit would be, so you, you made $1.25, then for this, you would, you would have, um, you would have sold it, you would have sold it, at $72, but you would have paid $80 for it. So this would mean that you, uh, I'm sorry, it's 74, not 72. Let me fix that. So you have paid the exercise. I'm sorry, you received the exercise and you paid the, um, the current price. So this would be, um, this would mean you would have lost $4.75 per share. <clears throat> so for a, um, for a call option to pay off, remember this would be a profit, the x-axis is stock price. You will, if you short a call, if you short a call, you receive the premium. So in this case, $1.25, and then the other party would exercise it at $74. And from there, it's a 45 degree down, or it's 45 degrees going down, and you lose a dollar for every increase in stock price. So if you short a call, if you short a call, then the max profit would be equal to the premium. It would be equal to the premium. The max loss is infinite. So infinite, uh, negative infinity. 
<clears throat> so you could lose an infinite amount of money if you short a call. If you long a call, if you long a call, you pay the premium. In this takes a dollar twenty-five. And I exercise. Um, if it's greater, if it's greater than exercise, and you exercise, the maximum profit on a long call, the maximum profit if you long a call, if you buy a call, would be infinite. And then the uh, max loss would be the premium. <clears throat> so this is uh, this is shorting a call. In the next video, we'll do longing a put option or buying a put option.